trauma tells us lessons like nothing matters and you don't matter and nothing will ever be good and then nothing is beautiful. How does this impact a child of six, seven, 10, 12 years old, right? We we're sending such powerful messages that then change conception of, of self. And that negatively changed conception sits upon the negatively changed neurobiology. We're setting the odds towards a, a higher sense of vigilance, a decreased sense of self-confidence, an increased sense of vulnerability, right? A, a decreased comfort interacting with others. Right? We're, what we're doing is we're, we're pushing towards isolation and misery and depression and then resentment. The research is so strong that, at, you know, adverse childhood experiences and these things that happen, the more, the worse, the more prolonged, the more that person is up against as they try and navigate life. I think if we really thought, hey, let's do the best we can for humans in general, for the human race, for our species in general, is we would handle children and, and caring for children so much differently in terms of protection mechanisms, intervention mechanisms. We should be wrapping our societal resources around children. And I think there's a societal negligence there to the shame really of all of us um, when child abuse and the, the impact neurobiologically and psychologically is potentially the greatest cause of suffering directly and indirectly on the face of the planet.